Hello everybody, I'm Nerd Dragon, and today we're gonna be reacting to the new Nintendo Direct that's, uh, happening. I'm gonna be reacting to it live, this is my first reaction. Um, it's not live, as in, you know, I'm not live streaming it, because Nintendo would not be all too happy with that, so... Anyway, yeah, I don't have a bingo card this time, unfortunately, I didn't have time to make one, I wish I did, that would've been really cool. But I'll bet you anything, they have Smash, Pokemon, uh, let's see, Smash, Pokemon, Metroid, maybe some Xenoblade, that'd be really cool. Monolith's been working on stuff recently, so let's hope for that. But, um, the Direct will start any minute now, so I'll see you as soon as it does. Here we go. What did you think? I was Before pretty good, we man. Our next video. We have some news about the last oh? of the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Game. Oh! Mr. Sakurai, the game's director, will reveal this fighter in the final Mr. Sakurai Presents video on October 5th. He'll also show you how to use this fighter, so please really? look forward to it. Okay, well, that's fair. That's fair. It's been about three years. Next, please take a look at this. October 5th, mark your calendars. Splatoon 3? Wait, there's birds? This isn't Splatoon. What is this? I thought it was Splatoon. Kirby! Yo! Kirby! Let's go! It's Kirby, my boy! He's right there, Kirby! <gasps> yeah! Look at Kirby! It's 3D! Kirby in the Forgotten Island hits in 3D! What? What? This is awesome! Kirby's back, baby! Let's go! He's got birds following him. That's so cute. Look at this, it's a 3D Kirby. And I mean fully 3D, not like the other Kirby games. Because most Kirby games are 2D, like from a 2D perspective. Look at that. This is awesome. <laughs> Did you see his face? This is awesome! I can't wait! That looks awesome! We got a new Kirby game! Next, we have this to show you. Please take a look. What's next? What do we got? Animal Crossing? <gasps> Brewster! Brewster's back! Yes! Brewster's back, baby! Yeah! He's back! There's a cross. This is an Animal Crossing Direct. Brewster's back! Yes! Yeah! Horizon's game has been enjoyed by many players around the world. Brewster! New free content will arrive in November. Oh, uh, Brewster. In preparation for its release, we will be airing an Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct in October. In it, we'll go over the content in more detail. Brewster's back, the roost. Oh, I missed it. Please be on the lookout for the air date. It was of one of my favorite things in a new uh, new leaf. Oh, Let's I move can't on wait. To more Nintendo Switch headlines. Yeah. Dread! Yo! This is what I've been waiting for. Oh, I just noticed that the three things on the uh, the back of Samus's suit, the little eyes that were there from the Metroid 
or the the things that represented the Metroid nuclei in um. Your highest priority it should be simply to survive. What? Was that an Emmy talking? Or was that Adam? That might have been Adam. Oh, dead. There may be a very small opportunity to escape. Don't let your guard down. Oh yeah, the speed booster's back. I I haven't talked about dread that much, but the speed booster's back, baby. And so is Kraid. I mean, it's in the video. I'm not surprised, but I'm stoked to see Kraid again. There's a blue Emmy. Samus Aran, the most powerful Not this lady again. Galaxy, oh, come on. To the uncharted planet ZDR. Ugh. I don't have a okay. I don't have anything against the stuff that Nintendo is doing again for like Red. Like, in fact, I'm really, really stoked that like I I love that um I love that they're pushing Dread so hard and Metroid so hard now. But like this trailer, they picked the wrong voice in my opinion. I think it's really, really annoying. Each with its own elements and organisms. Remnants of the mighty it just doesn't, I don't know. Are also scattered throughout, it just doesn't sound good to me. May have once called the planet their home. Visit metroid.nintendo.com to read Metroid Dread Report Volume 8 for a detailed account of no, the terrain. No, I'm not. I'm good. I'm not gonna. You may encounter in the Metroid Dread game. No, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm thank sure you. To view the other Metroid Dread reports there nope, as well. I'm not going to. You want to prepare yourself for the dangers that lie ahead. No, actually, I don't Metroid want to prepare Dread myself. That's that's kind Nintendo of why Switch I'm not. I don't know what that was. If they were standing there in real person, maybe it was a COVID like wall, like a clear wall. Studio, Illumination, and its oh. CEO and producer Chris Melodandri-san. What's happening? Known for movies like Despicable Me and Yeah, I trust me, I know Illumination. Animated Mario movie for the big screen. Whoa! Look at that. Today, I wanted to announce its theatrical release timing. We've been hearing about it, but hey, that's cool. The movie will be released in theaters in holiday 2022. Mario movie coming 2022. The date for North America is on December 21st and will be announcing release dates for Japan, Europe, and other regions at a later time. Cool. It'll be a while longer until we can share Hopefully it's not Mario in action bad. on the big screen. But today, I also wanted to reveal our key cast members Ooh. who will be voicing Mario and his friends in the movie. Did you get big people or no names? First, Chris course, Pratt as Mario? Mario? What the hell? He's so cool. Huh? Mario will Wait, be why? In the movie. Please look forward to Mario as performed by the very talented Chris. But why Chris Pratt? The movie Donkey Kong will they got also be Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong. He will be played by Seth Rogen. I'm what? eager for you to see a humorous Donkey Kong by Seth's son. All sorts of ideas. Guys, can't you and wait for Star Lord as Mario? That is a little bit different from. Can't you wait games. for Andy Dwyer from Parks and Rec updates, as Mario? Look forward to it. Yo, Splatoon three. Time to overanalyze this after after the video ends because I. I cannot wait for Splatoon 3. What is that? Is that a crab? Is that a special? That must be a special. These are specials. Well, no, that's a sub. The super jump still exists. Good to know that the, one of the key elements of the game exists. All the maps are... Sh There's like a, a grappling beam special. That's cool. That's really cool. There's so many new hairstyles and old ones too, of course. Oh, story time. Edgy Octoling. Why is he fuzzy? Story mode's back. Oh yeah, of course it's back, but I'm stoked for the story mode too, the campaign.
What was that? Are those Takoyaki balls? The story mode looking interesting though. Callie and Marie are back. And Agent 3, it looks like. Oh no, that's the that's the player character. Never mind. I thought that was Agent 3 for a second. I was like, what? Oh no, that is Agent 3. Wait, then what happened to Pearl and Marina? Why does why does DJ Octavio have a Gundam? <laughs> what? Hell yeah, dude. Are we going to space? What the hell just happened? The mammalians? Huh? Hello, everyone. I'm a researcher from the Squid Research Lab. I've been meticulously studying the mysterious squids that can transform into humanoid form. What you just saw was the latest research footage from Splatoon 3. Allow me okay. to share a bit of what we know so far. Splatoon 3 takes place in Splatsville. Splatsville? It's known as the city of chaos. Okay, of course it's the city of chaos. I I took part in that. I took part in that. Part in that. By advanced Look at those cool hairstyles, though. Squids and octopuses. Buildings spanning several generations are crammed into the city. But also, yeah, I played the final best from Splatoon 2. Creating culture. In the Splatlands, turf war appears the to be a popular activity. Like the Badlands? Its basic rules are unchanged. Two four-player teams compete against each other to ink the most area. However, the trend seems to have undergone a major shift with the existence of new main and special weapons confirmed in the footage. Yeah. In the latter portion of the footage, we were able to observe There was a bow and also specials and subs. Campaign. Return of the Mammalians. Meaning the reappearance of mammals. Yep, I, I got that. Theme of story mode this time around. Callie and Marie looked what sick in that picture, though. What could this possibly mean in a world where all mammals, except for two cats, have vanished? <laughs> all mammals except for Judd and Little Judd. Can't wait to see Lil Judd and Little Judd again. It appears that guys are great. Still a lot to uncover. But we'll continue with our research and keep you updated once more results yeah. become available. Please look forward to more. Splatoon 3. 3. Updates to come. Ah. No See official release date yet, unfortunately. But yeah. I want to thank you guys all for watching this video. Um, It took me 40 minutes to record. Well, it was crazy. It was... I don't know. But I'm really excited. We got Splatoon 3 stuff. We got Kirby... The Lost Islands or something like that. We got uh, an announcement for the Final Fighter. October 5th. Mark your calendars. I'll be there. Um, but yeah. Uh, other than that. I thank you guys all for watching. I'm going to go watch the Splatoon 3 trailer back a million times. Because I, I'm so hyped. Um, but other than that. If you like the video. Uh, yeah. I'd really appreciate it if you left a like. If you like my, the rest of my content. Then uh, leave a subscribe. Really helps the channel. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.